Okay, in this quick video, we're going to have a look at a little radio remote system using LoRa radios. You can see on my bench, this would be my transmitter, and this would be my receiver. And on my receiver, I have four LEDs, so we could actually control four relays. Now, the modules I'm using are from eBite. They're the E32915T20D, and they output 20 dBm, and they run on a 915 megahertz ISM band, and they have an advertised range of 3,000 meters, or 3 kilometers, which is around 2 miles. Now, that's under ideal conditions. That's with a uh, line of sight between the antennas and clear Fresnel zones. So we're going to have a look at the schematic for the transmitter. It's very simple. Here's the schematic. You can see the scamp board is feeding power to the radio module, 3.3 volts, and the UART output of the scamp board is fed into the RX input of the radio module. So that's the transmitter. Now if we look at the receiver, the scamp board is feeding power to the radio module, 3.3 volts, and the TX output from the radio module is fed into the RX input of the scamp board. And I have four LEDs on GPIO 1, 2, 3, and 4, and they could actually be controlling relays. So I'll power up the system and I'll give you a little demo. Okay, here's the setup for the LoRa radio module. Now the UART is 9600 baud, that matches the UART of the scamp board. Over the air data rate is 2400 baud. The power output is 20 dBm, which is 100 milliwatts. It's on channel 15, it's address 0. Now I have my, my transmitter hooked up to my keyboard, my computer. And every time I hit a key on the keyboard, it's, it's going to send that ASCII character code. You can see here, you can hear it, I have a radio on. So I have the four LEDs mapped to the four keys A, S, D, F. So capital A, capital S, capital D, capital F will turn on the four LEDs. And lowercase A, S, D, F will turn off uh, the LEDs, which could be relays. So if I go caps lock, so now it's capital, so if I hit the letter A, that's ASCII 65, it'll turn on the first LED. S is ASCII 83, D is 68, and F is 70. You can see all LEDs are on. If I take the caps off, then this is lowercase, and I'll turn them off. A, S, D, F. So it's very simple. So you can map it to any key on the keyboard. I just mapped it to these four keys because it was convenient. So now we could, we could power up the four LEDs, which could be relays for our little remote control system. Okay, here's the code running on the SCAMP2 board. Now this is the transmitter. Now this code will also run on the SCAMP3 board. So the first thing we do, we configure UART2 for 9600 baud. Next, we assign pin 10 for the TX2 output. So this line is not needed for the SCAMP3 board because the SCAMP3 board has a dedicated TX2 pin output. So here's the main word, lower.tx. So we configure the UART to 9600 baud. We configure pin 10 for TX2 output. And this line here, every time we hit a key on the keyboard, it will send out that ASCII character code over the radio module. So if you go down to the receiver, which is running on the SCAMP3 board. So here's GPIO and NIT. These are the four GPIO outputs, 1, 2, and 3, and 4. We configure them as outputs, and they're driving the four LEDs. So here's the main word. Lower.rx. So we configure the UART, UART1 for 9600 baud. We configure the GPIO output, the four, four pins, one, two, three, four, for the four LEDs. So here's our begin again loop, and it's going to look for the key presses. So here is capital A, S, D, and F. Now that will turn on GPIO 1, 2, 3, and 4. And lowercase a s d f will turn off. So here's clear two one two three and four. So it's it's continuously in a loop. It's looking for the characters. If it sees an uppercase, it will turn on the corresponding GPIO. If it sees a lowercase, it'll turn off the corresponding GPIO pin. So that's pretty simple. That's our Laura dot rx. That's a receive for a little radio remote system. Okay, so that was my little quick tutorial on how to build a little radio remote link using two LoRa radio modules and two SCAMP boards. And I made the transmitter very simple, but you could come up with a series of push buttons on the transmitter and make it portable. So when you press the push buttons, you could activate the four LEDs or four relays. And when you send data from the transmitter to the receiver, it's sent with a CRC check 
and forward error correction so it's very reliable. So the data at the receiver is going to either be good data or no data. You'll never get corrupt data. So even though it's very simple, you'll come up with a very reliable radio control link.